Hey everybody, welcome back to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all doing well, hope you've been having a good day. It was only a couple hours ago, maybe a few hours ago that we hung out, but I really wanted to get another video in today because I wanted to keep doing a tincture review every day and get through these two late for work tincture series. Get them reviewed as soon as possible. So, let's keep going with our Nightmare Before Christmas lineup. This is the third one in the Nightmare Before Christmas lineup. This is Zero. I like that label. I mean, it's a Nightmare Before Christmas themed label and I really like what they've done with it here. And uh, yeah, I really like the presentation as always. The, the fade, the color fade on their bottles is a really nice touch. The gold plated cap is a nice touch. The white rubber squeezer is just, it just looks nice. It's just a really nice looking thing. I don't know. <clears throat> and I think that goes a long ways. So, tell you a little bit about this. This is a mild to medium heat tincture with ahi lemon drop peppers for heat. Same as the Sally tincture in the same series. Um, and this is flavored like pumpkin pie. Now, I love pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin spice. I love squash. I like that stuff. <clears throat> That's good stuff and I love anything pum pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie flavor. I'm a big fan. Actually, to be honest, I had pumpkin spice creamer in my coffee this morning. I, that's one of my favorite of those International Delight creamers. It says it's a seasonal flavor, but it's been out for like, I feel like it's been over a year. <laughs> so it's a long season. I'm, I'm down with that. So Zero in Nightmare Before Christmas was Jack Skellington's ghost dog. That's him. He's, he's a doggy, but he's a Kind of that classic ghost bed sheet, white bed sheet ghost look. Um, he helps guide Jack through the fog on their walks. Jack finds the door to Christmas Town while walking Zero. Um, Zero is sort of a parody of Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, but in Christmas or in uh, Halloween form, not Christmas. It's in the Christmas is in the name, but it's a kind of a Halloween movie, you know, it's kind of halfway in between the two of them, I guess <clears throat> So anyways So what all there is to go over on that. Let's give this a shaky shake before we open it up Let's see what it smells like Oh yeah, that smells like pumpkin pie like absolutely Wow, that totally smells like pumpkin pie. I'm getting a little bit of that alcohol aroma on this one, but not not bad. It's actually smells really nice. So let's give this a squeeze. Let's see if we can. That's about the same. <laughs> we can always go back for more, right? So. See in the dropper there. It is a one as always with late for work. It is a beautiful clarity, really light, nice looking stuff. It's a fungus net bugging or bugging around us, buzzing bugging. <laughs> Let's give this a try. This is late for work's nightmare before Christmas. Zero tincture, pumpkin pie flavor. Keep my shorts. It's interesting. It's very pumpkin pie, but it's also, I feel like extra heavy on the cinnamon, maybe. Go away, fruit fly. <laughs> um, that's good. That's got a really good flavor to it. The alcohol flavor doesn't really come through. It's nice and smooth. Yeah, I feel like it's 
extra heavy on the cinnamon, maybe. Or maybe that's just a bitter pepper flavor that I'm detecting there. It's not very hot. I'd say a two or a three. I'm thinking more like a two out of 10 on my heat scale. Stop it, fly. I don't like it when you do that. <laughs> so, yeah, for me, let's say two out of 10. It's nice and nice and mellow, nice and easy to deal with. Um, if you're eating habaneros, <laughs> habaneros, a little bit of a stutter there, I'd probably find this to be four or five out of 10, maybe a six out of 10 on your heat scale. If you're eating jalapenos, more like a seven or an eight out of 10, probably not a nine or a 10. It's nice and mellow stuff for sure. But then again, somebody's going to say this is a 10 out of 10. Flavor on this, I think I'd give this a nine out of 10 for flavor. Yeah, I think I'd give this a, a nine out of 10. Really good flavor. I can really taste that pumpkin spice flavor. That bitter flavor might be from that ahi lemon drop pepper. Um, or it might be just from a, a lot, like a cinnamon flavor. But I like it, it's good, it works really well. At first I was confused by it, but it took me a second and then I really warmed up to it. Well, literally and figuratively, I guess. <laughs> and uh, it really works. It works really well. Pumpkin spice, because it is spicy. Spicy pumpkin pie. Um, would I recommend this? Yeah, if you like pumpkin pie with some pepper powder flavor in it. And yeah, I'll go ahead and say that. Some extra cinnamon flavor in there as well. If that sounds good to you, I highly recommend checking this stuff out. It's a nice mild tincture, so it's a good one to start with also. One of the more mild ones that you'll find, for sure. Would I restock this? I totally would. I love pumpkin pie, just like I said. This is delicious. I like the, I like the artwork, I like the label, and it's a dog-themed one. It's a ghost dog, so that's super awesome. Um, I just checked before starting filming, and as of you know, an hour ago, this is still in stock on LateForWorkYouTube.com, so make sure you hop over there and see what else they have and order some of their stuff. It's good stuff for sure. I, I love everything from that website. It's all great stuff, and I love the people that are behind the website as well. All of the people, not just Kim and Jason, but all of the people that help with it. Great people. Good friends. So anyways, yeah. Definite stamp of approval on this one. This is great. Um, yeah, I just watched actually a little while ago on the Texas Hotspot YouTube channel. He interviewed, actually he was interviewing, it was a big live show and I actually didn't watch the whole thing, but Jason was live on there and uh, being interviewed with some other chili heads for sure. Um, Brendan Collins, um, Eric Midge, um, Shahina, Johnny Scoville was there. I feel like I'm missing one. Who am I missing there? Well, I mean, um, Goo, Texas Hotspot. Definitely missing somebody. Now I feel bad. But it was awesome. It was really good to see that. Uh, to see J Jason is in Texas right now. That is so awesome. Really happy. Really stoked to see how this all happens tomorrow. How it all goes down. Whoever wins this. It's just so cool that they're all getting together at this awesome festival and hanging out and spreading the communities, really. Like, growing the communities. I think it's awesome. So, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Actually, before we do that, we need to go say hello to Maggie. She's on her couch, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure she's not under the table. Let's go see her. I know, it might look like she hasn't moved. But I promise she has. We went for a walk around the block and visited some of her favorite neighbor friends. And yeah, we've had a nice evening. And now she's all tuckered out. Yeah, right, Maggie? You're a good girl. 
You good dog. She's a good girl. <laughs> yeah, good girl, Maggie. Just a quick hangout. And I am tired. It has been a long day. I'm sure some of you have worked or um, had way longer days than me. But as far as my day goes, I'm tired. Uh, I think I'm going to sleep really well tonight. I'm pretty, pretty stoked about that. So anyways, in, where are we? In this corner, our Heat My Shorts logo. Make sure you click that. Click subscribe if you haven't already. In this corner, Late for Works channel. Hop over there and give them a subscribe if you haven't. And up here, two playlists for you to enjoy. Hope you have an awesome day or night. I love you all very much. And we will hang out again soon. I promise. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.